In previous videos, we've looked at importing the results from TAS and other dynamic simulation packages. We can also actually write data from the MEP work software. Um, so all the room boundaries that we may have defined by hand in MEP work can actually be used to create a TAS TBD file so that we can then run a level five dynamic simulation. So to do that, we've got the option up here called create task building. We then write and create the file that we want to call it. And we then create that file. This then creates the task TBD file for us. So this takes us into tasks and loads up the task TBD. A point worth noting is that it does not create the T3D. You do not see the 3D model because we've derived it from our room takeoffs in SIMAP. And from this point onwards, you would then apply all of the engineering caveats, import your weather database, apply your zoning, etc., in the normal way that you operate TAS. We won't be covering that here. This is a TAS software session that you'd have to go through for that. So you would be trained in the use of TAS in order to populate TBD with the relevant data. That would then allow you to perform the simulation. So you can actually generate a level five simulation from an MEP works defined model from a 2D building model. It's also worth pointing out that if you had a 2D model, likely is not the workflow. If you have TAS, it would be the tracing around of the floor plans in 2D and import the model as we've done on the previous video on a model derived from TAS into the MEP works calculation tool to design your HVAC services.